There are a lot of tattoos in the world, but some are more funny than others. Join us as we explore 20 of the funniest of the lot. Twenty, date of birth, please. I'm honestly not sure if this is a funny or a fail, because think about it. On one hand, there's no doubt that there's humor in this, because now when anyone asks when this guy was born, he can just rip off his shirt and say 1995, which I'm sure in some ways it's funny. But this is also a guy who got a massive tattoo just to show off when he was born. I mean. He could have done that in a smaller tattoo or done it on his arms in a cool way that would leave his chest bare and not looking like that. Again, whether it's funny or a fail, I leave up to you. Number 19. Insert hair here. Guys, let's be honest here. One of the worst things that can happen to a guy who is full of hair in his youth is to lose it over time because of age and genetics. But for this guy, he decided to cover up his bald spot in a very atypical way by having hair written on the bald spot in question in tattoo ink. Now, it's true we don't know if it was him who came up with this idea, but he deserved to be praised for it either way, because he decided that he'd rather fake the hair in a funny way than have to do color in order to pay, and that takes guts. 18. Arcade Revenge Who doesn't love the video game classic known as Pac-Man? It's one of the games that really helped start the video game boom, and variations of it continue to be played to this day, including having Pac-Man himself in Super Smash Bros. on Nintendo platforms. But for anyone who isn't that good on the game, you know that the worst thing is to be killed by the ghost in the title. So this person decided to get their revenge in a tattoo, with having Pac-Man kill a ghost in a fashion most violent and yet totally funny. If Pac-Man had that in his game, no one would lose. I'm just saying. Number 17. I have a six-pack Men, let's be honest with ourselves once again. Some of us will never have abs, and that's okay. Sure, many women and men love looking at six-pack abs, but if you can't have one in the traditional sense, you can do what this guy did and make a six-pack for yourself in a tattoo. Oh, but he didn't have a six-pack of abs drawn in his gut. Oh no, he went full redneck and had a six-pack of beer drawn on his gut which shows that not only does he not mind his gut, but that he knows exactly what he puts into it. Before we dive more into the odd and funny tattoos that people have gotten, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. That way, you don't miss all of our weekly videos. 16. What to do Every single day, we are tasked with a wide range of activities, and sometimes it's hard to remember what to do next. The obvious thing to do is write a to-do list, but writing it on paper means it can be left behind. So why not just do what this person did and put it on their arm? To be clear, the only thing that is the tattoo here is the lines, check boxes, and to do. The stuff that is written on the lines was done by the person who got the tattoo. It's still funny though that the person is so forgetful that they quite literally have to write their needs on their arm. But it gets the job done, I guess. Number 15 never going to give you up. The phrase Rick Rolled refers to a very popular YouTube and social media meme where a video will be labeled one thing and yet when you click on it, it goes to Rick Astley's famous song Never Going to Give You Up. That in and of itself is rather hilarious, but just as hilarious is that someone turned that video meme into a tattoo. Yes, as you can see here, this person is able to show everything that Rick Astley will never do, and everything on the list is a reference to the song itself. Clearly, this guy is a fan of Astley, the song, or the meme. Hard to tell. 14. Funny yet incorrect The tattoo is a tricky one. If you can't tell, it says, it's better to be absolutely ridiculous than to be absolutely boring basically meaning that it's better to stand out in the crowd than just blend into it, which honestly is a heartwarming message. But the problem here is that while it's a nice message, the message itself contains a very important error. Mainly, ridiculous is spelled wrong. They put an O where the C is supposed to be. And this is why you sometimes shouldn't get a tattoo, because if something goes wrong with it, then the error is almost always permanent and ruins the intent. You've been warned. Number 13. Mowing the Lawn 
Okay, remember the hair tattoo guy I talked about earlier? Well, this is another guy who decided to take on his baldness in a really clever way. Mainly like our other friend. He had a bald spot and one that honestly didn't cover the top half of his hair. But unlike the other guy, he got a little more creative with the reasoning behind his disappearance. Behold! Yep, he didn't lose his hair, far from it. He just had the top of his head mowed. He's just maintaining his head. How's that for maintenance? Again, a clever way of showing how to mask genetic defaults. For the record, I don't recommend this tattoo for all bald men. The joke will run out of style quick. 12. Do you see it? You might need to do a few looks to see what exactly is going on here in this photo, but some of you will no doubt notice the really bad tattoo that is going on here. For those who somehow can't see it, look at the eyebrows. Yeah, it's not uncommon for women to use makeup to make their eyebrows more pronounced, but this is a more permanent solution that is rather, um, unique and weird. Okay, seriously though, it's a fail. I mean, of all the options you had, you decided to get a tattoo of eyebrows? Come on, lady, do better than that. Plus, if something had gone wrong, the illusion would have been shattered even more. Why risk it? Number 11, making the cut. In my opinion, the person who got this tattoo done is a hero in my book because they decided to turn an injury and loss of limb into a funny moment that'll make sure people won't wallow him in pity. Now, sure, I'm sure some people out there will look at this and go, that's not funny. It's trying to mask the pain the person is in. And maybe to an extent this is true. But remember, tattoos are a choice and sometimes a coping mechanism. Looking at a lost limb can cause all sorts of feelings. But now, with the tattoo that is clearly a joke, he can at least attempt to crack a smile. And isn't that the important thing here? 10. Camel Toe times 2 Okay, on the note of making a tattoo to make light of a condition, I give props to the person who decided to put a camel on the toe that just so happens to have camel toe. Granted, the technical definition of camel toe refers to an article of clothing pointing to a part of the body, but in this case, the person is referring to how their big toe looks like a camel's big toe, so thus he made a tattoo to match. I'm sure some of you won't get the joke, but comedy is subject, and I think it's funny. Moving on. Number 9. Planning I love it when a plan comes together, a great man once said. Sadly, when it comes to tattoos, a lot of people don't plan ahead in the proper way. Now, if you look at this tattoo, you might wonder if this was an intentional goof or a case of bad planning that wasn't realized until it was far too late. If it was an intentional goof, you have to wonder just what was going through the person's mind when they thought this one up. Then again, if it wasn't an intentional goof, then they need to go back to school to relearn basic spelling and numbers. Intentional or not, it's a funny tattoo. 8. Testing 1, 2, ink At this point, I'm almost praying that this was done in some kind of ink that is washable because if someone actually paid a guy to make this test tattoo, then they're an idiot who should not be mixing in the gene pool. I mean, seriously, who does a test tattoo? And even if it was a good idea, why do it like that? There are so many things wrong with this, it's crazy. Not to mention the fact that the please ignore text is wrong because no one is going to ignore it. It's a tattoo that is clearly visible. Let's just move on. Number 7. Pit T the Fool If you somehow don't get this joke, go and look up the A team, which I've already referenced in this list if you know the show, because this tattoo is not only infinitely creative, but one that is hilarious in all the ways that matter. If you refuse to look up the show, then fine, I'll help you. This is a reference to Mr. T. Yes, that Mr. T. And his catchphrase during that series was, I pity the fool. So this person took that phrase and basically made it into a hilarious tattoo. And yes, I'm sure that's not the T that Mr. T was referencing in his name. 6. Lost in Translation I'm calling this one a fail because even if it's a joke, it's kind of a lame one. A popular kind of tattoo that people get is to have one written in kanji from a nation like China, Japan, Taiwan, etc. It gives the tattoo a mysterious edge and makes people wonder what it translates to. But in the case of this tattoo, as you can see, the person didn't put a lot of effort into trying to make the actual tattoo mean something special. 
That's right. This guy got a tattoo written in Chinese to say turkey sandwich. I mean, really, dude? Come on, man. Number five, air wart. As I've shown on this list already, tattoos can be used to help people with conditions and such that don't make them feel really good. But what do you do if you have a massive wart on your head? Easy. You make that wart a basketball and have none other than Michael Jordan, or at least his Nike logo, go and dunk it in for you. You have to admit, it definitely looks better than the wart itself would have been without it. But of course, the funniness of it is entirely up to you. Four, to quote Bon Jovi. Let me be clear here. If you want to get a tattoo of a Bon Jovi song lyric on your arm because it inspires you or something of the like, I approve. You'll go out in a blaze of glory, no doubt. But make sure the quote is right. Unlike this guy who messed up a Bon Jovi lyric with his tattoo. First off, this is an insult to tattoos. Second, it's an insult to Bon Jovi who clearly didn't sing that in his song. And three, it's insulting to fans like me who know what he is supposed to say and totally failed at it. Again, failed. Number three, I'm a little man in a big man. Okay, I'm not sure how to feel about this one. Because on a sci-fi movie level, this is awesome. Because it takes the idea of a bodysuit and turns it into a tattoo, which is honestly kind of cool. But on the other hand, it's really weird looking. And because it's not actually a bodysuit, obviously, that means that a guy went to a lot of effort to try and convey an illusion. You tell me, funny or fail? Two, Shady's back. Oh yeah, it's time to get our rap flow on. It's time to bring on the stage Eminem. Oh, wait, we're talking about a tattoo of Eminem? Yeah, okay, I'm sure it looks cool. Let's bring it up. Oh, that's not what I was expecting, but I'm not going to lie, that is pretty funny. But now I have to ask the question, is the blue Eminem Eminem's favorite, or does Eminem like another flavor of Eminem more than blue Eminem? What would Eminem do in this situation? Number one, socks. No, really, this is a tattoo that is about socks. Specifically, a guy decided to get a tattoo that had him appearing to be wearing Argyle socks when clearly we can tell that it's just his skin in tattoo ink, not the least of which is because we can see his actual socks. Again, of all the options you have for tattoos, why do this? The questions are infinite and we'll never know the true answer. Thanks for watching, everyone. What did you think of these funny and funnily bad tattoos? Can you believe that people ink their body with this stuff? Do you know of a tattoo that was funny or a funny fail that should have been on our list? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel.